Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Janelle. And as always, let's get into some makeup. Now for, now for today's makeup look, I have this very poison ivy green and blue eyeshadow look going on. The base is all matte. The lips are matte. Everything is flawless. I've gone in with a coral blush to complement the eyes and to complement the lips today. I think this is giving me very much autumn, but give me some color and I like it. It's not as bright as we were going for for the summer. We know we're transitioning out of summer and this look just screams autumn. Imagine this look with an all white outfit. I'm wearing a white top today. You're wearing all white or you're wearing brown or black. Something very simple and all the drama is going on with the eyes and a perfected complexion. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, just stick around for the video. Welcome, welcome to my very humble face, no makeup face, but we're gonna get that sorted out. I'm gonna start by priming my skin with the L'Oreal Infallible, the Matte Lock Mattifying Primer. How are you guys doing today? You know the deal. I like to know how you guys are doing. Hope you're doing well. For my foundation today, we're gonna stick with a L'Oreal product. I'm gonna go in today with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade number 113. All right, and we are nicely blended out. This is such a beautiful foundation. If you want something that's like a medium to full coverage, because you can actually build it up if you're going with some more, but I'm just gonna let it, you know, stay within the range of a medium coverage today, but I find it is such a lovely foundation. It dries down, but it's not drying on my skin. It doesn't get cakey or anything, so. That's a shout out for that product. For my concealer today, I'm going to go in with the O Studio Concealer, the HD Concealer. It's super affordable. You can pick this up on Amazon. And in this one, I am shade Caramel. Yeah, Caramel.
I'm just setting my concealer down with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade number 35 deep. All the products that I use are going to be linked in the description box for you guys. We still have the cow situation going on guys. There is still someone with a cow on an empty plot of land and the cow just makes so much noise but I'm not going to be that neighbor that complains because I know I have my dogs and sometimes my dogs really go in when it comes to the barking. I have six of them and they love them dearly and I wouldn't want anyone to complain so I'm just going to wait to see if the cow situation will resolve itself. And I'm just pushing that contour upwards just to lift the face. We don't want any, any sagging. To set my face, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place, the I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Gobi. And that's the shade of the powder. A nice light brown, buttery colour. And I find it makes my face look so smooth. I'm going to bronze my face with the Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo, the Dark Kit. And for this one, I usually mix both shades together for my bronzer.
right so bronzer is sitting nicely on the skin I just loved bronze skin can't do my makeup unless I put my bronzer on I've done my brows and brought you in a little closer I also prime my eyes today with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Primer. This is the only primer that I'm really going with unless I decide to go in with a little concealer depending on the shades that I'm working with. Today I'm going in with the Juvia's Place, the Wahala 2 palette. And I'm mainly going to be doing a matte look. I don't want any, any shimmer on my eyes today. I'm going to start by working the color called ASAP in my crease. It's a dark brown shade. There is an orange in the palette called Wasted. I'm going to just go in with a fluffy blend, blending blush and just blend that dark brown shade out. Just lightly because I don't want it to be too bright. I just want to transition that brown shade nicely. Alright, so that's nicer. You can see the difference. This one is nicely transitioned and blended out over here that's harsh and we don't want to leave it like that. I'm just going back in with some of that Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer just to clean my lid up. corner of my eye I'm going to go into the palette and use a green shade called Lust. It's a matte shade. For the rest of my lid, I'm going to go in with the blue shade called Jealous.
I'm just going to blend some of that green color called Lus just to make sure that everything transitions nicely. For my lower lash line, I'm going to work some of the blue shade under my lower lash line. So lashes are on and this look is very poison ivy. Although I went in with a blue, it's a blue eyeshadow. It definitely looks blue in the pan. Applied on top of the primer, it came out a little darker and it's giving me this very poison ivy kind of look that I am here for. I really like it. Since we went in with more blue green shades, I'm gonna to stick to a coral blush today. And I'm going to go in with the Palladio Matte Blush in the shade, this is the shade Tipsy, I think it is. Yes, shade Tipsy. I'm gonna line my lips with a, this is an LA Girl Perfection Lip Liner. Look at how short mine is. Mine is so short, but we still have life in it, so I'm gonna use it. This is the shade Chocolate. It's a dark brown liner. And as you guessed, we're going in with a brown lip today, just to complement the eyes. These LA Girl lip pencils are so creamy. They glide so smoothly on and I like them. For my lipstick, I'm gonna go in with a J2 Matte Lipstick in the shade, what shade is this? Dark Brown. birds are chirping, it's going to be a lovely day. For the center of my lip, I'm going to go in with, this is an LA Color Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Smashing, just to give me a little bit of lightness in the center of my lip. It's a dark brown, it's a nude. I'm not going to highlight, I'm just going to keep the face extremely matte today. And also, if my lashes aren't sitting perfectly today, just please ignore that. My lashes were a struggle. Some days you go in and your lashes just go pop pop and they're on. And then some days you're just there forever shifting and moving and then one dries. You have to reapply glue and... That was my story today. It happens to the best of us. So if it happens to you, you know, don't be daunted. Just keep trying at it. These things do happen. 
and yeah so that's it that's my makeup complete for today so guys that's the makeup that's the look i extended the blue eyeshadow a little bit more in my inner corner since i didn't go in with a shimmer shade for my inner corner i just wanted to sharpen that area look up sharpen that area up and make it look a little bit more defined all right guys so that's it so thank you very much for hanging out with me for yet another video please ignore the cow that we heard in the background i guess that's part of it that's part of life that seems to be part of my videos now i have to deal with it but we'll get through if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe leave a comment letting me know if you actually like the eyeshadow look let me know what you think of the base is the base suitable for you do you like it do you like the coral blush and the brown lipstick that we went in with what would you have done differently you can just drop me a comment always letting me know so until next time be fabulous as always and take care bye guys see you on my next one